Yes, your screen is not broken. It's me wearing something very bright for a change. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm wearing my new orange Castelli Gabba ROS Rain of Shine and uh, well, spoiler alert straight away, it's a fantastic piece of kit. I started looking at the Gabba from the Castelli Perfetto Light I already own that is also a fantastic jersey, super versatile but of course being lighter, much lighter indeed it's great on anything above I would say 8 degrees and I was looking of course for something similar but for colder weather, drizzly, overcast so perfect UK and London conditions and although I still like my full black attire I thought why not this time let's uh, be sensible especially for the winter the dark mornings and evenings why not get something brighter so I selected this orange one which come with this now quite recognizable taping on the seams but at first I really struggled because I could not really understand what Gabba meant I thought it was an Italian word some sort of uh, strange word maybe from the North Italy dialects but then I found out that he's actually the nickname of uh, Gabriel uh, Rush so Gabriel Rush also known as Gabba for, for the friends uh, that was his nickname started developing his own rain jacket cutting an existing Castelli jacket for his uh, needs as in more race oriented something that wasn't that flappy in the wind and uh, Castelli took the opportunity with him to develop the original Gabba almost 12 years ago the idea was to create something that could withstand some rain not maybe the torrential rain but could withstand the persistent drizzle be comfortable in the wind and in colder condition but at the same time be able to transpire better than a normal rain jacket and be also close to your body aerodynamic to make sure you do get the best performance in race and they came out with this uh, fantastic piece it's also interesting there is a short sleeve based um, piece of kit which at first I thought it was quite strange and now I understand how flexible it is now I'm pairing the item with the Nanoflex arm warmers but at the same time you can select lighter arm warmers or lighter base layer to get really the most out of the flexibility of the garment but you know it's getting dark let's go back to the studio for a full detail review and here I am back from the ride in the studio you can still see probably the crease in my head from the skull cap and luckily you do have a filter of the lens so you don't feel any other steamy <laughs> sensation from uh, coming from me and this is really an iconic design now it reached a status that only few objects or buildings of cars can reach where really the functionality and the style match in a perfect balance i'm thinking like uh, i don't know for example the original mini or a ferrari 250 short with base or gto something similar like that but even um, in terms of clothing for example the american m65 jacket where again form and function are correctly balanced and you don't really see where the function of the style go over one of the other um, building wise for example i can um, think of some zaha did uh, designs where the beauty of the building is perfectly matched with the functionality of the structure while some of the buildings for example they go overboard on the design thinking for example Calatrava where the art is in the exterior arrangement and the functionality comes second I do prefer where those two elements are 
balance together or in terms of watches, I don't know, maybe the Sports, Rolex or Panerai, where again, the idea of having a tool then developed in a beautiful object. So these are the design I really like and the Gabba form perfectly this balance between function and style. He ended up filling a gap of a garment that didn't exist, something that could be race-oriented, could withstand some rain, could keep you warm to an extent because it is a performance item. It is designed to keep you warm while you are maintaining a certain pace. So the three, four degrees to the eight degrees, 10, that is extremely comfortable, even with a light base layer, because if you are exerting yourself at a certain pace, then keeps perfect balance in your temperature. If you are running slower at a more relaxing pace, it might not be warm enough for your ride. This was the first one I bought. The Perfetto Light is a, a second generation of a lighter Gabba. The Gabba is windproof both in the front with a thicker material and in the back with a slightly lighter material but it's still windproof in the back as well. The Gabba is perfect for lower temperatures, good for winter riding and it can withstand rain while keeping compact to your body. It is great fitting for, for me. Both um, the Perfetto and the Gabba are XL. I'm uh, 185 centimeters, 106 uh, chest around that figure and the XL fits me snugly. Very good when you're in the position because underneath your armpit there's a very soft material and you do have the full benefit of the windproof in the front and the back where you need, but not in the armpit where you need more perspiration. For a winter item, I was really surprised that the design was a short sleeve. Now, if I'm thinking of going out in a cold weather, I would not really end up with the exposed arms. And I was going to buy the long sleeve version, uh, the Perfetto for the winter, but I'm very glad I didn't because the Gabba, by the nature of the windproof fabric, the Gore-Tex Infinium, is a slightly thicker material than your usual jersey. And it's not extremely flexible, which is why it keeps so close to your body and it doesn't flap. And a long sleeve, I would say, would have been a bit more uncomfortable. And this way, with the perfectly paired Nanoflex arm warmers, it forms a great item. And at the same time, when the weather is lighter, I could use a lighter set of arm warmers. For example, the Castelli UV light arm warmers. And at the same time, you could play with your base layer. You do have plenty of flexibility with a very, very big degree of uh, changing weather. Today it was like five or six degrees, windy, this was perfect. I only have a um, short sleeve Nike Pro, very thin layer and the Nanoflex and I was really, really comfortable. And let's go into the details of the design of the Gabba. Starting from the neck, you can see this uh, shape of the back of the neck to avoid any kink of the material uh, at the back of your neck, especially when you are in riding position. Uh, Rosso Corsa, of course, Red Race is the line of performance item from uh, Castelli. Iconic Scorpion logo on both sides. And also the taping of the seam at the same time, avoid any water coming through and also gives you a immediate recognizable look. At the back, it does have two big pockets and exactly the same as the uh, Perfetto Light, you do have the small sleeve for the pump. It seems designed perfectly for my design pocket drive and it goes straight into this recess here. The pump stays in its pocket, 
very very functional and leaves you plenty of space for any other item mobile phone here your bars gels everything that you want to carry with you it's uh, quite nice details the fact that gabba has got a norwegian flag because of course the original gabba gabriel rush was from uh, norway they wanted to give him the recognition of the contribution for the design of the gabba as you can see the perfetto it's got an italian name and italian flag but it's very very nice that they gave credit for the original gabba creator the tail is slightly better on the uh, perfetto light it doesn't have the wrinkling elastic uh, seam but it does have a very nice uh, rubber internal uh, insert so maybe the back of the perfetto light is slightly better than the gabba the arrangement of the pockets at the back and the sleeve for the pump are exactly the same the interior as you can see is full uh, windproof material slightly thicker in the front and slightly lighter at the back and when you zip it up there is a nice flap covering the front zip and it comes up beautifully with the high neck with the nice design as i said at the back to avoid any discomfort so to sum it up great feature great story behind the development really functional for the intended use perfect for the english weather what's missing well the elephant in the room is of course the price of this item it's not cheap and uh, i don't get anything for free from uh, castelli um, the list price would be around 180 190 pounds in the uk there are various degrees of offers in the market up to 40 percent and I have to say it's a great value if you do get at a discount. I would say even a list price is such an incredible, well-developed, well-thought item that is worth. If you can get it at discount, unbelievable value. I would straight away get one. Well, <laughs> I got one, pay for myself. And uh, I'm doing this review because I was really surprised on how comfortable it was the first week that I got it, I worn every day and of course it was raining and it was incredible because you go out in the rain with the rain jacket, inevitably you will steam up inside the rain jacket, even the best ones do. With this one it will keep a fantastic balance between the warmth in your body, water resistance and performance for your ride and it won't sweat too much. Thank you again for watching. As usual, leave your comment, your experience on this garment, on similar garments, I would love to hear and I try to reply to all of your comments. I love your subscriptions and I will see you to the next video. Ciao!